school students, we will be discussing uh, your uh, correlation, okay? And in your correlation analysis, what do we need to determine? Coefficient of correlation and uh, coefficient of determination. Now, what is the correlation uh, coefficient uh, indicates? It's either uh, positive, negative, or zero. If it is positive, it meant that it has a direct relationship. Okay? They will go, the direction will go together. This one will be inversed if negative. And if zero, no relationship. So, let's say you have direct labor no, as your X. And uh, let's talk about uh, a particular activity. No? Uh, and uh, if you talk about the product, and you would like to determine which has a higher effect, no? either direct labor or machine hour, by uh, looking at correlation analysis, you would determine uh, if direct labor or which one of the direct labor and machine hour would have a relationship with the production of the product. Okay, so, uh, and, and they, they, it would indicate if they have a direct relationship or an inverse relationship. Pag sinabing direct, para, pag nag-increase yung production mo, or rather, pag nag-increase yung uh, independent variable mo, no, na you have chosen, in this case, the direct labor or machine hour, mag increase then yung, uh, let's say, cost, or your um, production okay the volume of production okay uh, how about with the coefficient of determination the coefficient of determination will tell us no uh, the goodness of fit and and what do we mean by goodness of fit when you say goodness of fit it would measure the variability of one factor caused by the relationship to another factor. Ito din yun, no? yung kung ano yung pinili nating um, factor. In this case, we have chosen direct labor or machine hour. So, pag let's say, ang, ang naging result ay uh, 0.70, kasi 70% no? of the changes is contributed by direct labor or machine hour okay so the ang, ang result kasi ng r square will be uh, re either from 0 to uh, 1 okay so let's take a look at uh, your problem and that that is a yazoo electronic company we are given data and the information the total factory overhead it is for 12 months. We have 108,762 uh, machine hour. And we are given the result no? that we will use to compute for the coefficient of correlation. And uh, we have here the summation of X sub I less X bar multiplied by Y sub I less Y bar. If you notice, um, yung data natin doon sa method of least square pwede dito, ba? Then you have the square root of the summation of x sub i less x bar square and the summation of y sub i less y bar square. And the result is 0.92. So this is positive. So ano yung ano natin dito? Factor. You have machine hour in relation to factory overhead cost no yun yung ano natin dito machine hour and the uh, factory overhead okay yun yung nandito sa problem so it is uh, it has a positive correlation no they once your uh, hours 
increases the overhead increases as well and then the result would be uh, of the r square that meant that 84 percent of the changes is contributed by the machine hour okay so what's more important is how you are going to uh, interpret the result so later we would do the uh, the, the 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 information that we use with with your uh, method of least square in order to facilitate correlation analysis okay so thank you and good day if you have any question feel free to ask keep safe